Deuteronomy chapter 15. At the end of every seven years, thou shalt make a release. And this is manner of the releasing every creditor that led it out unto his neighbor. My English is very bad, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Shall release it, he shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother, because it is called the Lord's release of a foreign thou mayest exact it again, but that which is thin with the brother thin hand shall release, save when there shall be no poor among you, for the Lord shall great bless thee in the land which the Lord the God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. Only the thou carefully, carefully, uh, hearken unto the voice of the Lord the God, to observe to do all these commandments, which I command thee this day. For the Lord the God blessed, blessed, blessed thee, as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend, lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. If there be among you a poor man of one of the Bethlehem, within and of the gates, in the land which the Lord the God giveth thee. Thou shalt not harden thine heart, nor shut thine hand from the poor brother, but thou shalt open thine hand, thin hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he wanted. Beware that there be not a troke in the wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release is at hand, and then I be evil against the poor brother, and thou givest him no, and he cry unto the Lord against thee. And it be sin unto thee. Thou shalt surely give him, and in heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him. Because that for this thing the Lord the God shall bless thee in all the works and in all that thou puttest in hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land, therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto the brother, to the poor, and to the needle in the land, and if the brother an Hebrew man or an Hebrew woman be sold unto thee and serve in the, the six years. Then in the seventh year thou shalt let him go free from thee. And when thou see sendest him out free from thee, thou shalt not let him go away empty. Thou shalt furnish him liberally out of the flock, and out of the floor, and out of the windpress of that 
wherein with the Lord the God hath blessed, then thou shalt give unto him, and thou shalt remember that thou wast a bonded man in the land of Egypt, and the Lord the God redeemed thee. Therefore I command thee this thing today. And it shall be if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee, because he loved thee, and in house, because he is well with thee. Then thou shalt take an owl, and thrust it stroke his ear unto the door, and he shall be the servant forever. And also on the maid servant, thou shalt do likewise. It shall not seem hard unto thee when thou sendest him away free from thee, for he hath been worth a doubly hearted servant to thee, in seven the six years, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee. In all that thou doest, all the firstling maidens that come of the herb and of the flock, thou shalt sanctify unto the Lord the God. Thou shalt do no work with the firstling of the bullock, not share the firstling of the sheep. Thou shalt eat. It before the Lord God, year by year, year by year, in the place which the Lord shall choose, thou and the household. And if there be any blemish there, as if it be lame or blind or have any ill blemish, thou shalt not sacrifice. It unto the Lord the God, thou shalt it it within the gates, the unclean and the clean person shall it it alike, as the royal book and as the heart. Only thou shalt not eat, not eat the blood there, thereof. Thou shalt pour. It upon the ground as water. Next chapter, this chapter 16, the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Uh, my English is very bad, I'm sorry. Bye, bye.